Welcome back everyone. Now we're going to talk about deleting, undeleting, and restoring user data. Going back to our lab, we have user number five, which we are going to delete. We have three ways to delete a user. The first one is we simply go to the options menu and we click delete. The second one is if you want to delete multiple users at one time, we'll just check these users one by one and then go to the top options menu and click delete as well. The third way also we can do it from inside the user profile where we also go to the options menu and click delete. So let's delete the user now. Before we proceed into deleting this user account, we are presented with the option to move some of his data to a new owner. We have three types of data we can move. The first one is the drive and docs. And basically, this will transfer the shared and public files that this user owns to a new owner. If you want to transfer the private files as well, we will have to choose this option. And that will do the job of transferring all the non-shared files and folders to the new owner, which we will choose. Next, we have the calendar resources as well. And this option, actually, what it does is it's going to transfer the non-private events to a new owner. This will ensure the events are not lost or anything. We also have the option to release all the calendar resources that are booked by this user previously. We also have the option to transfer Google Plus pages and data to our new owner as well. So all of these will be transferred to one single owner, which we will assign once we click this button here. Before we move actually there, there is one big Big and important note and it's actually placed at the end of this notification which is this one basically it tells you that any data type that is not one of these three it will be deleted so it means that the gmail data will be lost and in case we wanted to transfer the gmail to a new owner we'll have to do data migration before we delete this user account we can either use the data migration services from the admin console or we can use one of the migration tools we will be having a look on data migration tools in the coming parts so i'll leave that until then so i'll proceed now to assign a new owner for this data or actually before proceeding if you just want to delete the user without assigning a new owner for his data all we have to do is just uncheck these options and then we will see the option that delete account without data transfer so i will keep the default selection and i will go to assign a new owner for this data and all i have to do is type the email of the new owner let's let's pick up t user 01 and we will click transfer data and delete account now it tells us that the data transfer is started once the transfer is complete the user will be deleted immediately so in order to see the progress of the data transfer we'll go back to the users page and open the filter and click data transfer in progress as you can see now this is the user 05 which we are going to delete and this is the status of the data transfer once the data transfer is completed this user will disappear from this view and we can see it in the recently deleted users now the account has been deleted finally we can see it in this view recently deleted users and we have only one option here which is to restore the user or undelete the user so all you have to do to restore this user we select the account and then we click undelete user and we will be presented with the OU selection so we can select where do we want to put this user I will choose the original OU where it was presented before and that's it so we go back to the active users view we'll expand the users and then admin and HR and there is our user has been restored just an important note before we go on after you delete the user you have 20 days to restore it if you did not restore the account within these 20 days the account is lost forever here i have a link from google help site for an article talks about restore a recently deleted user this link will take you to this page which is very useful as it contains some nice tips at the end it tells you that you cannot restore a user if the username has been given to someone else as a primary email address or alias so if you delete a user then you assign the email address for that user to somebody else you cannot restore that user until you remove that email address you also cannot restore a user if you don't have an available license for that which is very obvious so with this we'll move next to the data restore and we'll see how to restore the data which a user might have deleted from his gmail and back to our admin console the process is really very simple and straightforward as well all you have to do is we'll go inside the user profile 
we will click the options menu and there is the option called restore data and that's it really we just select the date range and what type of data that we want to restore this date selection is for the date where we deleted the data or the email so it's not about when we received the email it's about when we deleted the email or the file from our google drive for example if we have an email from 2015 but we have deleted that yesterday we can simply select the range to be for example let's do it from 23 until 24 so any email that has been deleted from 23rd of october until 24th until the end of 24th of october will be restored same goes for the drive files as well if we have an email that has been deleted since more than 26 days ago unfortunately we will not be able to restore this and in this case we'll have to use google vault and we'll take a look on google vault later on so once we select the date range that we want to restore we'll click restore data and that's it oh, sorry. of course it will give us a notification that data is being restored restored email will appear in the user inbox and it might take to up to one hour in my experience it might take longer because i had one case before one of the users actually got his mailbox reach max storage which was about 30 gb so he just went there and deleted all of his emails from the mailbox and from the other folders and after that he called us and he told us that oh my god i need my emails back because my manager wants something from them so we selected the date range he he called us the next day so we selected the date range for two days ago for two days back and according to the user all of his data was completely restored after about six or seven hours so it depends really on the data size that you have in your mailbox or in your google drive the, the time will will be from few minutes until few hours also before we move on here is a really useful link as well from google help site it's also an article about restoring user data this link will take you to this page and there are very useful information on this page as well there are information for gmail and google drive data and there are information for team drive data as well and with this we'll move to the next topic which is resetting password forcing password change and monitor password strings 